after renewing the lease to my apartment one more year, I figured let's give my patio another makeover. So with some DIYs, acquiring plenty of plants, and bringing the entire space together, here's my patio makeover 3.0. Hi, I'm Allie and welcome to my channel. If you have been here a while, then you may know that one space in my apartment that gets a makeover year after year is my patio slash balcony space. I think this is such an important space to utilize because there's nothing better than having an outdoor space that you can call your own, especially if you're like me with apartment living and don't have a yard that you can enjoy. The first thing that I tackled in this space as I do in every patio makeover is getting it cleaned up. As you can see in this photo, Footage, there is a lot of dirt and debris that have accumulated over the fall and winter and so that is definitely a place that you should start if you are tackling your outdoor space so let's get started The patio is all clean and the place that I always like to start when doing my patio makeover is by hanging the curtains. Now I had to pick up a new set of curtains this year. I got these off of Amazon, but I did find that the ones that I used for the past two seasons made it through two seasons, washing them in between. So that is really good. And my tried and true method of hanging these, which I find to be the best way if you have a balcony like mine, that also has held up. So I'm gonna just follow that tutorial once again to hang up my curtains. If you wanna see how I did it, I did it in my very first ever patio makeover on the channel. You can check out that video. I'll make sure it is linked in the description box. Now I want to briefly take a moment to talk about my design inspiration for the space. Last year I went with neutrals, but this year I wanted to do something a little more fun. So for my patio makeover, I wanted to do something bold and fun, playing with a lot of black and white and geometric patterns, but still keeping things minimal and modern looking. Going with this color palette would help me tie in with the yellow beigey walls that came with my apartment. And I really just want to experiment with playing with patterns and pattern mixing. I also want to give a few elements my patio and upgrade by creating outdoor lounging and dining space and updating my hanging herb garden and instead of faux plants this year I want to bring in a ton of real ones. Last year I built from scratch this DIY hanging herb garden and I completely love the concept and the frame and everything of that turned out great but it did have one flaw and that was for these pot holders I built them out of zip ties and my idea with that was to save a little bit of money However, it just didn't have the structure that was needed to support the plants on this garden. So this year, instead, I decided that it would be worth spending a little extra money to buy the proper metal plant holders. Just purchased them off of Amazon. They weren't that expensive, which was great. And I'm just going to remove all the zip ties that we have on here now and replace them with the Amazon pot holders. These are the little plant holders that I picked up off of Amazon and they fit my little pots that I already had perfectly. Now, one of the things about these is they do come with holes so that you can screw them into whatever you're putting them on. However, with the boards that I used, they don't quite line up well enough. So I could obviously just screw it in, only put one screw. However, I know I didn't like the zip tie option before, but I think zip ties really are the solution for holding these on here. So what I'm gonna do is take one of these little pot holders and a zip tie and I'm gonna take it from the back and around. I just want the little zip tie fastener piece to be at the back. Loop that through there. And I just wanna tighten it up, but I'm actually gonna just set these on here and we're gonna tighten them up at the end. That way we can get the spacing on the whole thing properly. Now the 
hard work is finally done, we can start styling the space. So I have the rug that I picked out right here. I actually got a new rug this year. The past two years, I've used the same one. I found different ways to style it. And I am so excited about this one. I love the bold geometric look that it has with the black and white and neutral that we're bringing into the space. I think it is really fun. It's really trendy. And I just love changing things up a little bit like this. Now I'm still loving the layered look for rugs on patios. I did use this round jute rug last year and I thought it'd be another addition since there is kind of that weird little diagonal corner happening on this patio. So we're just gonna place this down and layer it on top of the other one. Next up, let's talk about furniture. That is an incredibly important aspect of a patio space. You want somewhere that you're going to enjoy, be comfortable, and my current situation is definitely not it. These are the patio chairs that I have been using for the past two years. They were very affordable. However, they look cheap because of that, and I think it's time for an upgrade. So with a little editing magic, let's swap these out. I think these are missing something. Let's try that one more time. That's much better. <laughs> now this can't be an actually alley DIY video without some DIYs and I already created several DIYs for this space. I started with building a custom tiled tabletop for an Ikea Gladham table I used for my patio last year. Now this simple change will now make it so much easier to enjoy a meal outside this summer. And I also took an old thrifted sign and gave it a new finish and added a faux succulent planter. I was unable to take this DIY artwork and hang it up on the nail that was already there on my patio. And finally, I created three faux concrete looking planters from very basic plastic pots from the hardware store. This was such an easy dupe instead of paying hundreds of dollars for my high end inspo. And with their large size and by placing them in that group of three, it really elevates the space. Now, if you're curious about how I made any of these projects that I just showed you, I will link the full videos in the description box. Everything is looking great so far, but there are still a couple more things that I wanna do in the space. Let's put in the styling and the finishing touches. I'm gonna place some pillows on the chairs. These were also a DIY. I have done this envelope style pillow multiple times on my channel. So I'm gonna spare you the complete details, but it's a simple way to add a little extra personalization to your space. Everything is in place and now it is time for my favorite part of the video. Asking you to give this video a like if you're enjoying it so far. <laughs> okay, now that you've done that, let's get to my real favorite part of the video, which is the final reveal. And I'm gonna show you that in three, two, one.
What a transformation. I am so happy with how this space turned out. Now, looking back on all three of my patio makeovers, I think this has to be the best one yet. Now, I wanna know what you think of this transformation in the comments. And if you wanna check out how I made the DIYs that I mentioned that I put in the space, those will be linked on an end card here. Or you can check out my past patio makeovers that the playlist is on the screen here too. That's all I have for you in this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.